While speaking during a graduation yesterday at the Busu Secondary School, Deputy Opposition Leader Sam Basil highlighted the lack of employment for students who pass out from schools every year. Now we have, we will be having a lot of unemployment and we will be having a lot of uh, people with no job and no not engage in any industries. Uh, small to he told industries. those in attendance in that future, downstream processing of resources is key to creating new jobs. Sam Basil is part of the opposition and can form an alternative government. The Pangu party leader explained policies that the party would push if it were in power. We'll make coffee become a department of its own with, our, with its own ministry and cacao to become a department of its own because the both cash crops are bringing in almost 500 million into PNG's economy. Our aim is to build that 500 million into 2.5 or 2 billion industry. While Pangu Party and other parties in the opposition may have their policies ready, the ruling party, the People's National Congress and its coalition partners in government are still intact. This year the opposition tried to change governments with votes of no confidence, but that hasn't worked. And the PNC and its coalition partners will be a formidable force in next year's general elections. Pangu is now speaking a whole new language, one that may seem as political suicide. The party leader is ready to stop round log exports and process them onshore. We will stop round log exports and that message should go to all Papua New Guineans that if a party comes out and say that we want to stop uh, round log exports, all the, uh, all the um, logging companies will put their money behind political parties that will make them export round logs. Bethany Harriman, National MTV News, Lei.